looking for the ones that have perfect body shape. We have here. Hey guys, once again, welcome back to our channel Dexter's World and today we're gonna show you the update of our goldfish. As you can see here, I have so many mosquito larvae and these mosquito larvae are gathered from the swampy area near the rice field. I will show you in our next video how we're gonna collect this one but for the meantime, allow me to give an update about this mosquito larva being fed to our koi and our calico oranda and you will see this there are plenty of mosquito larva we will feed this you know this live food is very essential for the growth of our fishes because if you will just feed commercial food well the fish will become bigger but if you are giving live food the growth is more faster than just giving this commercial food so we will you will note that our calico here are already big of course a japanese boy loves to eat so we'll check this out if they are really healthy you know wow they're big enough but they're not yet ready for display maybe we'll wait for a couple of days from now we can already display this at our pet store we're looking for the ones that have perfect body shape and tail okay there are at least 300 of them placed here in this box but we have plenty of this sizes at the side of our house so just to show to you that they're really getting bigger now Look at this! So their sizes have doubled and of course I'm glad that these plants have helped us a lot but my system once again is just allow me to share you we are regularly changing this water as you can see we don't have air pump or any submersible pump that is why we are always changing the water if we are feeding live food then we make sure that we can drain half of the water every other day so that the fish will remain in good condition and the water will not get contaminated especially if you are giving live food So this fry of calico is big now compared to the time that they were placed in here two weeks ago and they are fed always with live food and this will prove to us that live food is indeed the best the best food for the fast growth of our tropical fishes we have here And uh, please be with me as we move to the other tank. We have 1,500 calico oranda also. As you can see, we have a new tank here. This tank will be the place for our breeder goldfish. 
I have so many breeder goldfish. We have pearl skin, we have oranda, we have more, we have different varieties of fish. You will see that as we are going to load that breeder fishes here. So maybe you will, where is that? It's in the pet store. I can show that to you as soon as this tank will be ready for our breeder fish. So we will feed this to our kangaroo. Oh, 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 fish! This lung is bigger and this fry have been waiting for this food. They're so hungry, very hungry now. You can have your breakfast. This is a good breakfast. These mosquito larvae were caught yesterday and just a way of sharing about the danger of feeding live food. If you will get mosquito larva from a swampy area from the unclean place then you cannot feed that immediately. So you have to starve the mosquito larva for at least one day or if you caught them in the morning you can feed them in the afternoon. And these mosquito larva have been caught yesterday so they are now ready to be given to be fed to our our goldfish because if you will not do that then of course there is a danger that they will get sick <laughs> look at them <laughs> wow they are plenty a couple of months ago this tank was uh, filled with Japanese koi and already harvested and they were already displayed at our pet store and this time this is another kind of fish calico oranda so we're gonna feed this one now you will see that they are really delicious for this uh, fishes okay you will eat there are plenty of food okay don't worry this is your breakfast and take note that this is only for good for the breakfast okay at noon time this larva of the mosquito will be totally consumed by this okay. okay allow me to just catch uh, some of them and then i'm going to show this to the camera in our future videos, we're going to show to you the actual breeding of goldfish. We have already showed you the actual breeding of betta fish. But they are here. Look at them. Okay, so they're getting bigger each day because of the kind of food, the mosquito larva. And in our next video, we're going to show you how we are going to gather this. Where is that place where we can find mosquito larva? But for the meantime, just uh, allow me to show this wonderful fish. Okay, they have good colors. These are already selected. They are having now the reject ones were already thrown out or given to the flower horn but this one have already perfect bodies and tail so you look at them eating this mosquito larva so that's the update that we can give you so far for this uh, ornamental fish keeping and I'd like to request you guys to just stay tuned to this channel if you are a hobbyist or into fish keeping this is the channel that can give us some sort of information or techniques practical techniques about fish keeping so stay tuned and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel we are asking you to please subscribe and like and share our videos only here
Dexter's World.